All right, welcome back to part two of building a website in Notepad++ um, <clears throat> in 2019. Okay, so we started to get the main layout of the site. Uh, I already uploaded part one uh, <clears throat> here, but we need a couple other things. One, so we need to link in the style sheet. I'm going to need to put in the style sheet into the HTML file. And so we'll do that go right here, put in that style sheet, uh, and save, okay? Um, and we're also going to need to start to put in some of the CSS code that we're using. So we'll just copy and paste that. Okay, do, do, do. copy that and paste that part. Um, and we're going to put, and the way I comment in CSS is I do a backslash, and then asterisk, um, or star, uh, and this is going to be the mobile menu, or let's call it menu CSS. So we're not at the mobile part yet. And I'm just going to copy and paste. Well, look at that. Hit control save. Let's see what that does. Ooh, now look at that. All right, so we got this. Um, I kind of overrode our, the paragraph, so I probably am going to take that out. Let's just take that out. Boom. And on here take that out we'll play we'll work with their thing for now and then maybe we'll change it up later okay we'll move these back oh, do that okay. and okay and let's actually move that up okay Control save. Uh, that's, well, okay, so that, there was some spacing associated with the paragraph, so that kind of makes it look a little nicer. Uh, I don't know that I want it in as a background in um, black, so let's do a um, blue, let's see, blue hex color. Let's search up that. Um, we can find some different blues that we might like. Uh, we need this blue. 407F. Okay, let's try that. All right, so we're going to have to look at the CSS here. Uh, let's try this. Four zeros and then a 7F. Hit Control S. Okay. Uh, nope, that doesn't change it. Uh, nope, that's the hover. So that's not what we actually want. Change this back. To DDD. Active um, background color. Here we go. So do 407F. Control save. All right. And there we go. We got a nice blue. I don't want that active thing on there though. And so I'm going to here, since class is active by the home page, this is my index. I'm going to switch that back. Okay. And uh, it, okay, we still have the hover and we got the blue. That's pretty sweet. Okay, one thing I want to do um, before I start typing my content here is I think I want to make the sidebars a little bit smaller and the center a little bit larger. So let's go back to my CSS. Okay, and we're going to go to the left of side and let's bring it down to 20%. Let's bring the right aside down to 20%. So that's 40%. So that means this can go up to almost 60%. We'll go up to 58 though. Okay, we'll hit uh, Control Save. Okay, now let's see what we got. Okay, so now we got this bigger thing here. And that doesn't look that great, but uh, let's align some of the stuff. Uh, so align this. And let's align this. We'll, we'll mess with it later, but um, and see how that looks. See how that's lining up. Okay, that that's looking better. Okay, so we got some center stuff here. Um, the footers, I want to mess with that. The footer code, uh, left footer. We're going to make these thirty-three percent. So I didn't do that yet. Um, and hit control save there, and then we'll probably align all of these in the center. Just to kind of see how it 
books books. We do that. Okay. Uh, hit control save. Okay, and we'll see how this comes out. And that's that's starting to look a little bit better format wise. Um, and maybe what we'll do to distinguish this is in these the footer stuff. Uh, we're gonna make the background color. We're gonna make it uh, pretty much black, which is this three three three. Uh, it's fairly black. It's not quite. You notice they use that in the menu initially, and that's a popular color. Um, Okay, but what's going to happen when we do that is they're going to be pretty black here. And um, we might actually, we're going to get this weird white space. So we might actually, what we wanna, might want to do is make the footer background color that. And, but then we're going to have to make the regular color a little bit different. Okay. And so now we do that, what's going to happen? All of it's going to go there. And we can see the text a little bit because um, it's not completely black. But we want to make the copyright. I want to make that. I still want to make the background color. I'm going to make that white, which I do with a hashtag and the three Fs. Okay. And that's going to make that part white. Now, with the left, uh, center, and right, I want to make the color of the text white. So I'm going to do the three Fs there. Okay, uh, for all of these. Okay. All right. And okay. So now we've got a kind of cool setup going. Um, and, you know, and then maybe we'll go from there. Maybe we want to make this um the main part um the most recent recent articles and the uh the main body part and the the right of the sidebar i'm going to make those a little bit different background color as well um uh, so i'm going to do the side left i'm going to do the background color of uh, this is going to be a gray color, E6, E6, E6. Uh, I'm going to do the same for the main. And um, then the aside. Okay. And we'll see how that turns out. Okay. So now we still get uh, some odd parts here. Maybe we want to make the entire body do that background color. Let's do that. Yeah, but that's going to fill in the whole thing. So I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay. Okay. And then, so I want to figure this out, make this a little bit nicer. And the reason why this isn't quite working because we don't have a full 100%. So let's see with that. Okay, so now we have that. We have a little bit of spacing between here. Um, make the padding here uh, zero. And then there's still going to be a little bit of a space there. Header, let's do the padding zero next as well. Not gonna work. Um, we have to play with the paragraph tag. So let's do body. Uh, and we may not want to do this entirely. We gotta close that out actually. Uh, that's still we're, we'll have to work on that space. So maybe in the margin top we're gonna make smaller. We have got to work on that. Um, maybe we want to move it back to white. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with that. But okay, so we got this going on, and I don't like the font. So let's switch up the font. 
I'm going to go to Google Fonts. Um, this is free fonts. Um, so let's see. Go down here. Pick some that's uh, nice. Maybe how about Roboto Slab? Let's add that. Okay, so we're going to select this. We got to copy this. This is the style sheet. We're going to have to copy that into the head of here by the style sheets. So come here, enter, copy that, save there. And then we're also going to have to copy this where we have the paragraphs and then also where we have uh, the links. Okay, and then we also might want to have a font size and we'll use 1.3. Um, and same here. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay. Okay. So we got a font has changed. Notice quite a bit, and I like the font size. Um, I don't know if I get the padding of zero, so I'm going to take that out. Okay. Let's see. And we still have a padding of zero. So actually, let's put in a padding of ten pixels. Okay. All right. So we got some nice padding there. Um, we got to do that for the header too, and the header, all the headers. So we're gonna do all of the different headers. Um, we're gonna need to have that font family, and then uh, we're padding is gonna be ten pixels, and close that out. That. All right. So now we we're spacing it out a little bit, and now we're starting to come up with. A nice site, okay. And um, on the left here, so most recent articles. Let's see. I'm gonna align this in the center. Okay. Okay. All right. And so we're starting to get a nice site. Um, I want to take the news off of here. I don't care about that. And we're going to change this up. So this is going to be index.html. Change this to contact.html. We're going to have to create these bits. Well, we have index created. We'll have to create those pages and then about.html. Those are going to be my three there. Okay. Now, if I bring this down a little bit and I start to close it out, notice it doesn't look great mobile optimized just yet. Um, and I'll give it a little space. Let's take that away. Try something here. It's still not taking that spacing away. I've got a little bit of padding on top. We're gonna to have to think about that. Um, okay, so but this is starting to kind of come up with uh, how the site is gonna look. It's obviously not mobile optimized yet, um, and we may want to move these into the middle. Um, but right now it's it's looking okay. All right, so this is going to conclude part two, and in part three, we'll start to mobile optimize it and so on and so forth. Uh, but in part two, let's finish up with where we've got. Okay.